This can be my Starstone quick guide, so uh, yeah, let's get into it. It's going to be a little bit longer since Starstone does take about 20 to 30 minutes, and this was, I think, my second run, so definitely not too good. But uh, yeah, this is going to be the first elite you walk upon. He's pretty easy, not too hard. There's obviously a bunch of other little mobs around, but yeah, other than that, pretty easy and straightforward. Next thing you're going to want to do is open up this first door at the end of the bridge where you just fought the first elite. And um, yeah, once you got that open, you're going to be wanting to move your way past that and get to those lasers on the right. Uh, there will be a page if you want to go grab that, but once you get on the other side, there will be the first chest. And uh, once you get to this big old room with the obstacles, you're going to want to head left and go down. Dodge under that one, go under that one, and drop down to the left over here and jump the gap. And uh, yeah, maneuver your way through here, drop down again to avoid those two, and that's about it. You're home free. So yeah, pretty simple. And then the next part, you're basically going to want to kill the archer, obviously, jump across jump across again and then get up on the little wood structure over here and then jump across again and then basically go and grab the little little thingy and that'll put some staircases up so that your homies can just run through and they don't got to go through the obstacle course but uh yeah just keep going along it's gonna be second chest coming up on this spawn point and um yeah pretty easy keep heading up through that way and you'll be coming across the first bone and another elite. So this is going to be bone number one. Grab that. Be sure to. Don't forget it for the quest. And this is going to be another elite after you keep walking along. Pretty simple, straightforward. Then you're going to need to open the first or the second door. Which will bring you to your second respawn point. And at the end of the uh, stairs there will be a expedition chest waiting for you. Then you're going to want to continue across this bridge until you reach the third door and you're going to want to bust that bad boy open and uh, yeah, keep moving through, kill all the mobs, skip the first door and open up this one door with the big uh, ball doohickey in it and um, yeah, kill all the mobs obviously and once you got that open you're going to move on and find two more elites and these guys are going to be bone two and three. These guys are pretty difficult, but um, yeah, you know, it happens sometimes. But that should be th all three of your bones, and you're going to need to be grabbing the pink pool again to let your teammates pass. And once you keep heading up, the next elite will be that big guy. He's a little bit stronger, but nothing too crazy. Once you kill him, head down to the right, grab this thing, and help your teammates cross through. And once you finish that, you're going to want to come back up onto the bridge that you were just at and do the deactivation. Next, you're going to want to run down the bridge again, come over here, and you're going to need to kill this elite and all the mobs here to grab the obelisk key. Once you grab the obelisk key, you're going to want to run back over to where you killed that big magic dude and um, dip your ball thing in the blue water stuff. And you're going to want to run back over to the big door Put the key in and then the boss room so the boss is pretty easy she throws these little uh, bone things so you're gonna want two DPS to go hit those and take them down and other than that that's the only other move she does so just watch out for the bones and that and that's about it um, does have two phases so you will have to kill her twice but um, yeah don't forget to grab the last chest and that's about it thanks bye